Welcome back to my channel and if you are new, my name is Sarah and I make lifestyle and beauty related videos here on the World Wide Web and I would love it if you guys were to subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos and you join my weird little internet family but if you are reoccurring, hi, my name is Sarah, give this video a thumbs up. So in today's video, I'm actually standing. Most of the time, I don't know why I'm flailing my arms, most of the time I'm sitting on the ground or in a chair. Today is going to be, I don't really know what I'm going to call it yet, I think it's going to be either basics you need in your closet and staple pieces, that's the word. Okay, so we are going to start, my closet is kind of sectioned off from like fancy stuff like gym wear, jeans and pants, t-shirts, long sleeve cardigans, and then jackets. So I feel like I'm going to start on this end here, and in every wardrobe you need a staple leather jacket. This jacket here was so cheap and it was from Forever 21, which doesn't exist anymore in Canada. It's gone, it went bankrupt. But this jacket is vintage. So this jacket probably cost me $24. I've had it for about three years now and it's just so nice and so cute, it's so chic. The buttons up here just, it reminds me of Negan. If you've ever watched The Walking Dead, it reminds me of Negan. And I feel like a leather jacket was good for the summer, the winter, the fall, honestly anywhere. And you throw a scarf on it and you're good to go. So I recommend a leather jacket in your closet. <laughs> the next item uh, I think is like a stable piece and an item you need in your closet is just honestly a simple hoodie. I love a good hoodie. This isn't too thick and it's not too thin either and it's also kind of cropped but it's long enough. You know what I mean? Uh, this is a RVCA. Is that it? RVCA hoodie. I got this from Boathouse but this is obviously a standalone company as well. This guy was a little expensive. It was about 50 bucks and I've kept it for about three years now and I feel like you really need investment pieces as well in your wardrobe so you're not throwing out something every five minutes. Do you know what I mean? This piece here is really nice and it's just a hoodie so you can just throw it on and you're good to go. Moving on to cardigans, a basic gray cardigan would be very good to have in your closet as a staple piece. The amount of times I have worn this just like it was chilly but not too cold, you know what I mean? I would just throw this on and call it a day. This is Old Navy. Old Navy has a great variety of styles and colors and I just really like it, the button up, and this guy probably ranged from like $30. Okay, the shirt is inside out, but a staple piece and something that's basic you should have in your closet is just a gray long sleeve shirt. Again, if you're in a rush to go anywhere, you can just grab it and throw it on and you don't really have to think anything of it. I got this guy from Winners, so I don't know what the brand is. Anastar, and I think it was like $12, so Winners has great choices of clothing as well. Okay, so I have some basic t-shirt options for you guys. I like a simple white t-shirt. This one has love on the corner and this guy's from H&M. He was probably only about $10, maybe 14 max because of the sign, but a basic white t-shirt is really good just to have in your closet if you want to throw it with the leather jacket, but just a basic white t-shirt can go a really long way in your closet. Also, I like to have a pop of color in my closet because it's kind of dark, <laughs> but this yellow t-shirt if you're in a rush, again, you can just throw it on. It looks good with honestly any kind of color jean. And again, it's just a fun pop of color if you're not feeling like reaching for a white t-shirt. Another one here is really basic. Oh yeah, sorry. This one was from Winners as well. It was like $5. And some options for, I have like interview outfits when I go for job interviews or just like important things. This shirt here, I always used to wear for one of my jobs. Um, it's just H&M again. H&M has a lot of good basics. They literally have a line called basic. But it's just like a nice floral shirt. You can see there and it's really good. Good. again just basic shorts t-shirt kind of thing so that's that it's always good to have like some kind of print in your wardrobe if you don't want to sit around wearing white and black all day another last one kind of like a fun shirt like a dressy up shirt uh, this guy again is from winners winners has guys honestly amazing i wish i was sponsored by winners you guys are watching hi <laughs> But this shirt is really cute. This is my Caution to the Wind. Again, this was like $12. It does up here. It's really nice. It has like kind of a wrap look, but it um, it's not really a wrap. It's just like sewn all together. But really cute, really dressy. Like I said, good for any occasion. Now I'm going to be really quick about this. I think having tank tops in your closet and collection is really important. These are all just basic tank tops. Also, I got these racks from Walmart. Walmart. So these are all like basic tank tops you can see here with the built-in bra. A lot of them are either Airy or Target and they're just basic. I have white ones, black ones, and a cream one somewhere right here and a cream one and a navy. So just basic colors to have in your closet for a tank top for underneath shirt. And then again, I have like racks on racks. <laughs> Um, I have just basic tank tops with a thicker strap. So these ones are kind of more like going out. And I guess I will hold the hanger like this to show you. Um, as you can see, they're all, wait, maybe you can't see. 
This is a mess of a video. You can see they're kind of just like basic. This is a workout one. These ones are from Old Navy. It's just like a long swing um, tank top and I really like it. Just when it's really hot out, you can just throw it on and you don't really have to worry. But I have them in a variety of colors just to have in my closet. Some summer days you don't really want to throw on a t-shirt. So a basic tank top that's not too extreme will do the trick. So moving on, um, right now I'm actually wearing the shorts that I wanted to talk about. I'm gonna just tilt you guys down like this. These shorts here are super comfortable. Again, I got these from Winners. Um, I love them. I think if you don't, you should have a basic pair of just black shorts in your closet because I mean, it, it's good just to have, right? You can just throw on literally anything with a black pair of pants. Um, a good pair of denim jeans. These ones I thrifted from Plato's Closet and these are from Old Navy. I think they were five, maybe eight dollars. Um, just basic. I love a distressed jean and they don't, like your butt isn't hanging out because that's not cute or attractive, but they are just nicely distressed and kind of like, not short, but they're not like Bermuda, you know what I mean? So just a basic jean short I feel like you really need in your collection, especially for the summer. Okay, stay with me people. One more, like two more, two more items, I promise. So these are American Eagle jeans. They are honestly the best quality jeans I've ever bought in. They're expensive, American Eagle, but they always have like buy one, get one. So make sure you hit those deals up. But these are just like a black wash kind of with this discoloring here. And the bottom is so cute. So it's like a basic jean, that's what I'm trying to tell you. And it has like a cute little zipper. So these are really good for honestly, casual, dressy, fancy work, you know, anything. So just a basic pair of jeans. Yeah, I thought I was gonna show you guys more, but I would just wanna kind of give you a rundown of like really basic items you should have in your closet. So a nice hoodie, a cardigan, a couple of basic t-shirts, some jeans, and a nice pair of shorts. And honestly, you are good to go for all occasions. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want more style videos, let me know in the comments down below because I personally love clothing. It's sickness, it's a habit. Makeup is kind of like there, but like clothing right now is what I'm into. I'll talk about more about that later on in a video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what item you have in your closet that is a go-to. And like I said, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching.